this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's segment is My Journey into Data Science where we talk to distinguished people working in the field, talk to them about their transition, their hiring process as well as their advice to future data science aspirants. And today we have with us Shilpa Shivapuram who is a Senior Specialist at Publicis Sapient. Her expertise lies in designing and curating a paradigm of analytical platforms for e-commerce, healthcare and financial domains. So let's just go ahead and talk to her. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? I work at Publicis Sapient as a senior specialist and I'm part of a, a sub craft called Data COE which is called a Center of Excellence Community. As part of this community again, so uh, the reason why we call it as a community is we don't want to build something like a service and things like that but we are it's more of a knowledge based community where we are specialized in certain crafts and we say the craft is more about data products and anyone who actually wants to build a certain data products we are the people who are go for right you know you can engage us for advice or you can engage us for any head start that you want to start building and that is where this excellence team comes in play. Moving on, let's talk about your transition into data science. Yeah, I think it's been a very uh, interesting journey again for me, Preeti. So uh, it's been like, you know, I have been into a mix of data analytics, data science again, I think based on the career journey that I have. I work primarily on product companies again. So and when we were building product companies, I think my first encounter with data analytics was sometime way back I think in 2008 or 9 I think that's where we started building analytics products but I think that's that's where I felt that this is more challenging than building something which is a very very simplistic problem to statement to solve because it brings your thought in in more bigger space right and that's when you start challenging yourself not just as a technical person but also start looking at a user perspective right you most of us are uh, users of marketplaces like Amazon or things like that. But if you're on the other side of uh, the party and you are building something for a customer, how would your mindset change? I think that is that mindset community that we are talking about. And that's how my journey started working on, right? And my first encounter again with data science started coming in my previous organization. I was part of Philips again. So Philips has been a lot in healthcare, right? So we build a lot of healthcare products and things like that. And uh, uh, the biggest challenge, if you look at healthcare, is you know uh, there's a lot of turnaround time for any diagnostic results, right? So you must have seen that there's a lot of turnaround time. People might have got an X-ray done, but if for an MRI and CT, there's a long wait time for people to actually look at and look at specializations, right? The biggest churn that started coming in and that's where I got involved into a data science project is where how could if I get through a diagnostic procedure, right? How soon can I actually look at that result? Is my can I reduce the patient wait time, which probably right now is about three days to five days? Can I make that into three hours? That was the problem state and that that's where we started exploring AI and ML. And we said as soon as you're out of your scan or out of any of your procedures, diagnostic procedures, is your result ready with your radiologist? And that is where we actually presented even in the conference. I think that is where my love for data science started becoming a lot, much more longer. And yes, I think the data has actually, uh, that journey has continued over here as well. If you were to hire a data scientist for your team, would skills overpower educational background or the other way around? I think uh, education would be one of those qualifying factors when you are at an entry level. But I think what matters more when you progress in your career is your skills and the way that you actually have looked at or adapted to a progression is what important, right? You know, because there are a lot of things that come in market, there might be things that might be evolving completely different. And the more adaptive you are to those changes is where actually your progression comes in. And that's more important that and that's a similar pattern that we try seeing at, at an individual. Thank you so much for having a conversation with us. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.